She likes to run, she likes to run In the rain or in the sun When she feels pain, she doesn't wane She just runs, she thinks it's fun And when she rows, she never slows If the gym is all closed They let her in, she likes to win she likes to win She doesn't stay in bed She drinks code red She drinks code red She drinks code red <laughs> Okay, this is Katie talking about who? Anne Anne, Katie talking about Anne Go ahead, Katie Okay, well, uh, what I really like and appreciate about Anne is she can tolerate all of the stories and jokes about her at her expense all the time. Um, and, that, I mean, that's pretty hard to do. And she's always really kind and considerate when it comes to uh, being around us cousins, or us little cousins. And she, she really... <laughs> I'm getting nervous, that's fine. Um, she's just really nice when I... <laughs> she's nice around her family, even though her family is rough. Yeah, yeah, that that takes some bravery. Okay, well that's good. Any, okay. Anything else you want to add? I, I can't think of a particular story because I... I, I... Oh, that's fine, okay. Okay, so we're going to have Poppy present first about JJ. Ready, set, go. Go. Well, it's very, I was, I feel very lucky to be able to talk about JJ because he's got so many good things going for him. But the two that I want to talk about is first is curiosity. He's never hesitant and he's always willing to consider exploring new things, exciting things, his enthusiasm for trying new endeavors. So it's important to, to recommend, besides curiosity, he's got to have courage, because not only does he have to have curiosity to be willing to do it, he's got to have the courage to actually follow through on his curiosity. So it's equally important to follow up on his curiosity and stick with his curiosity and use his courage to push through anything that may present a problem. And as proof of all of this, I want to list all of his activities that he does and he's explored and he's been good at. He started with Taekwondo when he was in Rockford. I watched him do all this martial arts. And then he did soccer, and he's done basketball, and he's done swimming, and he's done uh, piano and drums. And now he started on tennis and cross-country running as well. And this is in addition, of course, to his water skiing and his snow skiing. So this is a, a good example of why it's important to pick your parents carefully, because both of them exhibit the same characteristics. And JJ is a prime example of the characteristics of curiosity and courage. That's it. Thank you. Okay, this is, next clip is Allison talking about Bill. Ready, set, go. Okay, so I thought there would be lots of options for stories to laugh about all the silly things that Bill has done. But instead, I'm going to say nice things that Bill has done. So I remember, I, I just say I don't remember all the details, but 12 or 15 years ago, we were at a family 
get together. Maybe it was Napa. Maybe it was Arizona. I honestly don't remember, but I was in the back seat with Bill driving back from something that was at least an hour away from wherever we were staying. So I think it was me, Bill and Kathy in the back seat. And I must have been either pregnant with Maddie or just had Maddie or what, but we started talking about parenting. And clearly I had no experience, no, no knowledge of parenting, none of it, but Bill did. And he started talking about the things that he thought he had done well in the 40 years of parenting that he had done so far. Um, and the things that he thought he could work on or should have done differently. And he was really open and honest about all of those things. And honestly, I don't remember what they were. <laughs> I'm not going to embarrass anyone here with any of those details. But what struck me about that situation is that, first of all, what he was saying was spot on. It was He was telling me that it was okay to not be a perfect parent, whatever that is. It doesn't exist. You can be a a normal, imperfect human and still be a great parent. And that was a lesson I needed to hear. And the second thing that I wanted to compliment Bill about was the style with which he was giving me that information. So Bill, again, in a family of loud, obnoxious people um, and loud, obnoxious brothers, a man over the age, a man over the age of 60, he was vulnerable and she was showing humility and, and openness and honesty. And that's rare and you know for anybody to do. And so I, I want to thank you, Bill, for how you did that. Well done. That was All right, good. Bill. All right, Bill. This is a story about BB. And these were some funny gifts that she got mom for her last birthday. There was a knockoff Fitbit, an angry mama microwave cleaner, and a t-shirt holding rack. And these are just some silly random gifts that she got mom and she does silly stuff all the time.